I need to say this right now, this video is not going to make any sense. This video is not going to have any logical sensibility in its own fucking right. So, take that as you will. Hello everyone, of course, see me today to do another commentary video without my fucking face on here. So, I'm going to be talking about three things that have been on my mind for a, a good amount of time. TikTok, dead channels, and VST costs. I'm going to start with VST costs because this is going to be like the shortest thing. So, there was this one VST I was looking for. It's called Vital. And it has these like buy options. Well, you can get it for free, but it has these buy options where it's like 250 bucks, it's 20 something gigabytes. Already ridiculous because what the fuck? Why is it fucking 20 gigabytes? I don't even think. 2000 mp3 files or ogg files or whatever files audio files the fucking vst uses would take that much space at least it would at least probably take at least a gigabyte if they actually knew how to compress shit i don't know if they actually do compress it and still that fucking large it's 250 bucks and it's 500 bucks and it's a lot more gigabytes than that and here's where the ridiculous part comes in here's what the ridiculous part comes in for me two fucking thousand dollars it's 200 gigabytes bro these better be some like alien type fucking sound that would make me an instant hit all over it that would make me an instant hit these better be some great high quality shit if i'm willing to pay two thousand dollars and have almost close to a quarter of my fucking hard drive taken only just for one program as for music that's <laughs> it sounds fucking complaining about me of, of complaining about the prices and all that shit but Fucking hell, man. This sh it, it does happen still to, to other VSTs. I'm only just complaining about this one. It's just ridiculous. TikTok. I've been meaning to talk about this cancer I've been watching grow for the past four years. Since 2020. Uh, no, 2018, I meant. Since 2018, I've seen it blow up, and there's been. It's been a lot of people on that shit. And you say, so right now, this is gonna be. This is gonna sound fucking like oh conspiracy theory or or like completely nonsense but in the long run years down the line niggas are gonna go back to this video and say like damn this nigga was right it's insane that he was a teenager when he said this <laughs> it's insane that it's still on youtube when he said this okay it is the modern it's like the modern trojan horse the digital d trojan horse that's coming from china because here's the thing though <laughs> I think they were like, like, like thinking to themselves, like in the meeting, like, okay, how can we weaken the rest? Oh yeah, give them a social media, an, an extra social media, that basically uh, temporarily took over the fucking world, which was musically, and but that didn't give us our desired effects. Let's let's just throw it in there and, and see what happens. <laughs> Actually, no. There's a reason. There's reasons why they don't allow, like you know, those. Uh, suggestive type of content on there, you know, girls shaking their asses and all that other bullshit. They don't allow it in their country. They know exactly on why they're doing that. It corrupts your mind. But the reason why they, why others, other countries allow it, which is like most people, well, most countries. I don't know. This is too fucking horny. It's kind of a bit sad, actually. No, so here's the thing though. I want to say I'm very glad I never ever decided to get on TikTok. I was very, I think there was a point where I was very close to doing it only purely for uh, commercial reasons, you know, to promote my YouTube channel and shit like that. But even then, I think it would have probably done jack shit for me. And I see these people, I see these people I know get like thousands and thousands and millions of views thousands of likes on tiktok i was like damn this shit is fucking worthless actually shit is worthless and to show how pervasive tiktok is it's like have you ever seen those like videos of those fucking cocksuckers like like singing their orders to some fucking depressed um <laughs> minimum wage worker in a fucking uh, restaurant chain yeah it's just like nigga just just get your fucking food Nigga, just get your- just, just say it normally. I don't want to hear this bullshit, please. A kid next to me pull up TikTok. I'm like, oh no, this- 
Do you know what? I don't know if I am a bit too worrisome. Um, for me at least. For even for me being this young. What the fuck is gonna be in the next generation? <laughs> like, with all this shit that we have. With the internet, with all this bullshit that we, um, having. Both of which we're taking for granted and also which is gonna probably be the result. Which is probably gonna be the reason why we're gonna fucking kill ourselves. Not literally kill ourselves. Society. Society. Right. Though that sounds a bit ridiculous. There's some... I... <laughs> that would be a whole nother video and it's on its own if I were to explain that. But... <laughs> Generation's gonna be brainwashed by Twitter and TikTok. That's fucking great. Oh, what do you mean brainwash? Kill yourself if you actually say some shit like that, alright? <laughs> Don't do it though. Don't do that. That's kind of a bit cringe. Um, dead channels. I've been meaning to talk about this for a long time. I'll probably make this into a separate video, but. This is basically what I'm gonna boil down to. There are three main reasons of why people uh, make dead channels possible. Ego, redundancy, and controversy. Controversy is the most common way to go out, especially in the internet world. Usually it's by, you know, diddling little kids because not only are you corrupted by your own desires and you view the world by your own desires and since you are probably lonely as fuck, have no actual woman, um, or are probably not- <laughs> okay, that actually, I'm not gonna say it, that's fucked up, but you get what I'm saying, alright? You're lonely as fuck, and since children are very vulnerable to that shit, I was like, oh yeah, let's, let's get these fucking kids right here. Let's just emulate our great friends in Hollywood and get their treats as well. Fucking sad. Very sad indeed. And also, some other bullshit, you know, them being a scumbag or them being a scammer or just doing just morally, like, legitimate, morally bad stuff. Like, everyone can agree, like, yeah, this nigga needs to be eviscerated, right? Eviscerated. Not gone to the shadow realm. I'm not fucking, I can't actually say that word, I'm not in that group, but, tap, toe gap. I'm not that, um, Evisceration. That's a cooler word to use. The, th the second one is redundancy, which I think would be the scariest one possible, actually. Because have you ever seen those big nigga channels with millions and millions of subscribers only pulling about 100,000 views or even less than that? That is the scariest one because you know, you know, like, oh, if I get into, this con into some controversy, that might be the end of me. You know, saying some dumb shit, doing some dumb shit, basically, probably breaking the law, some bullshit like that, you know. That's when you know, like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let me just keep on doing what I like to do. Um, why do I have only 10k views uh, after 24 hours of this upload when I have like 10 million subscribers? What the fuck? That's probably the scariest one for anyone who is actually becoming really big on their own. And ego. Ego. The reason why I put ego is, well, it can be considered linked with controversy, but it's just with the person itself. If the ego blinds them of their own judgment and blinds them of like their own way and path towards this whole shit, and this can be a like all these three things can be applied to in real life too to anyone in any field besides YouTube and the internet. Um, but the reason why I'm putting it specifically in this frame is I don't know. I just first thought of it in this frame, so I'm sorry if it isn't in the other frame, right? Yes, that's uh, that's the video. That's the video right there. Thanks for watching this video, which is watching me ramble for 10 plus minutes. Uh, I didn't do that time length intentionally. I just close like like no, literally. I'm not bullshitting with this. I close my eyes whenever I'm like doing voice acting, not voice acting, just recording in audacity. I'm just. 
towards I'm talking towards the fucking microphone because I, I just imagine myself third person perspective just like the way I move the, the way I speak shit and all that stuff it's pretty epic you should do it um so thanks for watching the video like the video if you liked it I don't fucking know subscribe if you want to see more of this shit and have yourself a good day or night and have yourself a good fucking damn one <laughs> I'm not afraid.